Hello, ELA students. It's Mrs. Coulter with your next ELA assignment. We're going to be doing a lot of book talks throughout the year, and so this is the format of your book talk that you're going to be using. Some guidelines to follow with your book talk. First, you need to write out your script before you record so you can practice what you're going to say so you are nice and smooth and fluent. Your book talk must be 30 seconds long. And I know 30 seconds sounds like not very much, but actually when you start recording, 30 seconds is kind of a lot. You need to practice before you record. That is a must. When you are giving any kind of speech or reading anything, you must be aware of what, you, what it is you are reading or presenting. And a big part of your book talk is don't give away the ending. You don't want anyone to know what the ending is because then they won't want to read the book. Okay, so the book that I read, I'm going to do a little example for you was James and the Giant Peach. In this book, our main character, James, was forced to live with his two nasty, horrible aunts after his parents died in a ter terrible accident. Both of his aunts were selfish, brutish women that saw James only as a nuisance and forced him to work from sunup to sundown around the house. However, Soon after, an incredible thing happened that caused the peach tree in the yard to grow one enormous, humongous, ginormous peach. It was the size of a house. The next thing James knew, he was inside the peach, meeting a new set of friends that he never would have thought possible and about to set off on a, set off on a wild adventure. James showed great courage, curiosity, and ingenuity on his trip, and his life was changed forever because of it. So here is the slide. You are going to record your, vi your voice when giving your book talk on. Then on this slide, you're going to rate your book and voice record your explanation of that ranking. Have fun with your book talk. I can't wait to see the books and hear about the books that you are reading or have read.